Hi, I'm Mayor David Black and welcome to City Happenings. The fourth annual half marathon 10K run and fun walk went off without a hitch. And a new addition this year, the Special Olympics Torch Run. And the city's annual Arbor Day celebration took place outside the police department and we joined with the ideal school for an Arbor Day project. Our singing seniors took one of their many shows to a local assisted living facility. All of these stories are next in City Happenings for the week of May 23rd. Thanks, Mayor Black. This year's half marathon, 10K run, and fun walk were well attended despite the cool weather. This year, we feature the Special Olympics Torch Run. We've partnered with local law enforcement for over 25 years on the law enforcement torch run. And uh, we had a unique opportunity this year with the Papillion Half Marathon event falling during our torch run week, which is the week before our state summer games. So we organized with the city of Papillion to have our um, Papillion area law enforcement, which includes Papillion, La Vista, and Offutt Air Force Base. Um, come out and run the 10K portion of, of this event. So it was great uh, because we've, we've kind of gone to a format where we have communities organize their own events so that they can celebrate in their cities or towns with their local athletes. And since this event um, already supports Special Olympics Nebraska, it was, a, it was a great partnership. And the whole point to the Law Enforcement Torch Run is to raise money and awareness for Special Olympics Nebraska. So being able to be part of a major event is exactly what we want. We we want our law enforcement to be visible. We want people to see what they're doing, which is running our torch and raising awareness for our athletes that are going to be participating in our summer games next week in Omaha. Um, but they do these kinds of things year round. The torch run event falls in May, but they're doing events to raise money for us all year. And it's nice to get them recognized and out in the, in the public where there are this many people to see what they're doing. The city celebrated Arbor Day with its 22nd year being named a Tree City USA City. This year's project saw our police department partner with the Ideal School. During the first semester, we had uh, people come to our school and tell us what a uh, normal day was like in their shoes of the city heads. And during the presentations, they were all asked to give us an idea of a way we can improve the city of Papillion. And uh, the response was great. We had a lot of choices, but we also wanted something that all the students could do. So we took the top five votes, I mean the top five choices and put it to a vote. I mean, isn't that what a city does? When all the votes were tallied, it almost a landslide for the Papillion Police Department. They asked us to plant three column more trees in front of the Papillion Police uh, Station off of 1st Street. Soon after we voted, we realized what we had gotten ourselves into, considering each tree was going to be $300. Through the preparation, for today, we learned many new social and practical skills such as fundraising, brochure making, and designing t-shirts, keeping deadlines, and with all these new skills and support from the teachers, Ms. Steed, all the city's employees, including Mayor Black, and especially the Papillion Police Department, as we, like the trees, mature and turn over a new leaf as we branch out into the community. Our singing seniors are out entertaining in the community once again. This time, they performed their Roaring Twenty show at Papillion Manor. We're always excited to see Laura Jean and her group come out. It seems like they always have a diverse program for us. Um, we're long-term care, short-term rehab, and they're just able to perform well for all the uh, residents we have here at the manor. Of course, everyone enjoys music, and they always add some dancing and excitement to their shows. So we always look forward to having them here. They're just excited that there's folks in the community that really care about them, that are willing to come to our facility. For a lot of our residents, they aren't able to get out and go to events in the community or the Omaha area, so it's wonderful that they're willing to come here to perform. They definitely contribute to our, um, what we call dignity in life. That's our mission here at Papillion Manor. And just to brighten their day on a cloudy day like this and come in, and they're always so friendly. Our residents and staff always enjoy having them here. I think that's very contagious. You'll see um, our residents singing along, clapping their hands, foot tapping, just wanting to join in with them. 
Market Fair is now open at City Park. It happens every Wednesday night from 5 to 8 p.m. And don't forget the Swingin' at Sumter music series, Sumter Sunday acoustic music, and the Starlight movie series. For more information about these great events, please check the Recreation Department webpage on the city's website. Now, for more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.